Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot reading. Sagittarius, love tarot reading. Sagittarius, love reading. The Three of Pentacles is in reverse and I'm seeing here the Six of Cups and Justice. Wow. Okay. So somebody's holding on to some kind of truth. What is that? That they're thinking about you? They're thinking about you. Sun and Scorpio energy. The Six of Cups. Nostalgic. Could this be the truth coming? Yeah. There's reunion energy here. Let's see. It's coming here with Justice. Libra energy. Venus, the planet of love. Libra is connected to the heart chakra. Let's see what's happening here. Three of Pentacles, by the way, came out. It's in reverse. Mars and Capricorn energy. No contact, no communication, and or in separation. Perhaps there's just complicated communication, you know. Let's dig in and see. Yeah, let's dig in <laughs> and see what else is going on here. That's driving me a little crazy. Sagittarius, this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. If you are looking for your playlist for your Zodiac readings, you can access that in the description of today's video. Also here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab. Of course, all 12 Zodiac signs. If you like to watch, if you like to cross watch or Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know, everybody has their, has their likes, <laughs> what they like to watch. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings, collective love readings. And if you're on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long in depth Twin Flame readings as well. So feel free to explore. Let's see what else is coming through here today. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Sagittarius. Aho. The Seven of Cups. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Seven of Cups also, you can see the King of Wands here. Somebody, no, there's no communication. It's not going great. We also see that there are some commitment issues in this connection. It's right here in the partnership placement, Venus and Scorpio energy. The King of Wands here getting, working up the courage to make a move, which we saw that in the Six of Cups, thinking about you. It can be you've known this person for a really long time, you know, going into the past past, like even childhood. It can also just be that energy, you know, the connection, like my person kind of energy. But one thing is for sure, they're holding on to some truth, that energy and justice, and wanting to bring you that truth here, clearly getting the courage to do that. Nine of Swords in reverse, the Hangman in reverse. So Gemini and Mars energy here, it's kind of like, well, it's like getting out of the sleepless energy. It's a healing energy. It's like... Something is about to go down, you know. The hangman energy is a really strong validation for me that it's been too long. This person has been, yeah, look, get it literal here. Gosh, that's pretty literal. The strength card in reverse, Leo energy. The sun source, which is also here. And, well, the strength card is connected to the heart chakra. Yeah, there's a... There's definitely an energy of self-sabotage around this person by not coming here with some kind of truth. There is some fear around it. It's just really, really clear. Fear around communicating. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Again, the strength card, getting the strength, getting over pride, getting over fear, connecting right here with the King of Wands who wants to come here and work something out. A new cycle. You know, it's the sun energy connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. 
course, a luminary full of power and wisdom and a new cycle deducing into a one and all the potential that the sun holds, of course, as it shows everything, you know, <laughs> it's the potential for things to grow to it's a new day, a new chance. What exactly is going on? Again, it's been a long time. Pisces energy, the hangman, it's in reverse. Divine number, timing here, timing issues for sure. It's been an only time will tell kind of energy. This person has been, well, they have been struggling with some ego. There's definitely some power struggles here. But they've been indecisive and they have not been taking literally any action. Interesting here with our nine of swords in reverse, catty corner here. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, look at that. Catty corner here with the sun. It's like also <laughs> literal energy of somebody who's waking up and staying awake, getting some thoughts together, or perhaps just waking up really early, you know? That energy is here. The wake up energy, the literal wake up energy, but wake up energy too. And the King of Pentacles is here. Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. It's wanting, this is wanting to come. Ace of Cups. Looking right over here at this Ace of Cups. Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Love, what's in that cup? Is there an offer in there? There can be marriage proposals in there. Our King of Pentacles is looking at it. They're in, just even looking at our King of Wands today too, you can kind of see they're a little bit afraid. There's a little bit of fear, but this is what they are looking, this is what they are connecting with is the sun. And again, it's also like this literal energy of waking up and somebody sitting there now holding on to this wand saying, how can I do this? Six of Cups. Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups. What are the commitment issues that have been here? Because it is around the Strength card in reverse, you know, around the Heart Chakra. And it's somebody who's, there's some fear. It's like sabotaging things from fear. Were they, were they, are they still afraid of commitment next level? Because we have, the King of Pentacles here, literally looking at the Ace of Cups. The Magician is in reverse. The Four of Swords is in reverse. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. That's your energy, Sag. Jupiter and Sagittarius. Connected here with the Hangman, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I mean, it's... What's going on in this Seven of Cups energy, you know? Other choices, what are the commitment issues? Is there a third party involved? There could be here, just even in our Three of Pentacles in reverse. But, you know, th third party energy for me is also, it can, it can be around somebody's fear of commitment, you know? And that's definitely here. Four of Swords in reverse, there's an anxious energy. Somebody's getting restless to make this move. Because this is somebody who kind of threw things away. Unfulfilled potential, the magician in reverse, right here in between the sun and the nine of swords. So this person, yeah, there's, there is really a strong, like, literal, again, wake up energy here. In the night kind of energy. Gemini and Virgo, Mercury energy. Access to all the elements, you know, all the resources, water, air, earth, and fire. And it's like wasting it, wasting time, had everything and then lost it, kind of. I'm hearing that song. I had all of you, most of you, some of you now, none of you. Take me back to the night we met, Lord Huron. Somebody blew it. Look, Five of Swords. Yeah, there may have been some discord as well. It's here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. So there are some power struggles. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius energy. There, there definitely may have been some 
some discord in the way of arguing. Justice is back and it's here with the Three of Wands. Yeah, what is this truth around? Because I, it's something that they're trying to come here with. It's For me, it's pretty clear that it's around kind of what happened here. What have the commitment issues been around this person because they're working up the courage to come here and be honest. Again, justice is back, connected to the heart chakra. Libra energy and Venus, the planet of love, justice. Yeah, is, is, this is a master number. It's new beginnings. It's making a decision. It's coming together. Obviously, it's the truth coming out. And it's coming here with the Three of Wands, Sun and Aries energy. So one of your, one of your fire, <laughs> fire mates, Aries, we also have Leo energy here that's actually pretty strong in the Sun and the Strength card in reverse. Coming together could be literal travel, but it's, it's movement, it's teamwork. It's also a number, it's an energy of timing. Divine number, divine timing, communication. This is the truth around what happened. And they're, they're, they're holding this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Are they coming in with more? The Knight of Wands. So it's in reverse. It's an impulsive energy. I want to say kind of how they're coming in here. The High Priestess, the bottom of the deck. The truth is definitely being revealed here. Divine Feminine Energy, Cancer Energy, the decision here. Justice came back. The truth, what they're trying to get here to come and be honest about. The truth is... The truth is coming, energy. The truth is being revealed. It's been a long time. The Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Fool, the Chariot in Reverse, the Delay. <laughs> it just turned up right before our eyes. The Knight of Cups in Reverse, the Knight of Wands is also in reverse, Broken Promises, okay. So something obviously happened here around your relationship. Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? I mean, we could be looking at anything from dating to going exclusive, moving in together, introducing families, marriage, building a family. So... There's an impulsive decision here, the behavior around this person. There are broken promises here in our Knight of Cups in reverse, Scorpio and Pluto. But we're also looking at the Ace of Cups in the upright. So it's a validation of what happened, or I guess you could say what didn't happen, you know. But they're also holding on to the Pentacle and the Ace of Cups. They're coming here with the truth. This person is revealing the truth and getting also out of their ego to do that. It's something they're struggling with. Are they coming here hoping for more? The chariot just turned around right before our eyes. It's already really clear. The high priestess, justice, the chariot. The truth is coming here, Sagittarius. Exactly what is that around, you know? Are we looking at... Possibly some legal issues, somebody who got themselves into trouble, played a part in what happened here, a karmic situation. I'll tell you, it's, it's pretty strong and it does feel emotional and it feels like it's been a while. The chariot, cancer, and moon energy. The action that they're finally taking here. Could, could this be actual travel? Yeah, just already seeing that in the Three of Wands. In fact, if there is some kind of an, an event going on, even something like a reunion around family or friends energy, so holiday event, a party, or even schoolmates, that kind of thing, having had the Six of Cups coming in as well, we could be looking at something really far back here. There definitely could be travel, 
but it's also clear that this person's trying to get the courage to come here and reveal the truth to you. Wants to, to work, at least get everybody, I want to say, to a better place. And I think, yeah, I think there might be something more here. Is somebody testing out the waters? We also have the Fool, Aquarius and Uranus energy. Somebody who's definitely coming here with the truth, taking a chance. Are they coming here ready now for something more, hoping for more? King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles here as well. I do want to tell you, <laughs> it's a frog, that there's a lot of humility in this energy too. Look, and it's coming here with somebody who's been really in their ego. The thing about the hangman is when you get out of there, you go into the death card. And there are paradigm shifts. You go in there and you get out of your ego. You, you learn some lessons. You come in a different way. You come in a much higher vibe. You change. And you change what, that's why you're in there. <laughs> you know, you're trying to work it out. And... We've seen justice twice now, and when you go into the hangman, that's what you're getting out of, is justice. It's here twice. It's it's like the truth is coming whether they like it or not energy, too. I mean, Lady Justice is here for a second time, taking the place, <laughs> literally, look here, it's almost like a court, taking the place of the overall energy, sort of overlooking the reading today, forcing this person out of the hangman energy. So getting out of their ego, shadow, and fear, which is really strong here, and coming here to be honest with you. So could this, again, could this be around particular karmic or legal issues as well? Of course, you know, I mean, it's here. But it's definitely like it's being pushed in that way, you know, because... Yeah, we have justice here kind of forcing them out into that death card. So not only coming here out of fear, out of ego, and making coming here with the truth, but making some kind of something, some other changes that needed to happen here. I do want to mention it will not be for everybody, and it's definitely not... A huge energy in the reading, but it is here. Should there be somebody who has had some kind of connections to vices, maybe overdoing something, which could be getting them into some kind of trouble, or just, yeah, things that are not serving higher self energy. It is somebody who I want to say is, is trying to get out of that energy. Something is definitely changing. And again, I'm <laughs> just... Really super specific reading, but, and just not always the case, Eight of Swords, but Justice here twice, somebody who's been in this hangman for a long time, that we could be looking at some kind of legal issues, you know, whether it's around behavior or other people here in our Eight of Swords, but this person kind of got them, that put themselves there, you know, Jupiter and Gemini energy, really coming out here, this is somebody who I feel like is going to be coming out here really different. There's like a really changed kind of energy. And there is sort of like a finger crossing, you know, that I'm different or this has changed now of the possibilities of this between the two of you. So whether you were there, you had built a life, you were building a life, you were in a long-term connection, it was on the table, or you were, you were building it, or it was on the table. It is not the main thing coming in here, but it's there. And of course, you know, it comes down to decisions that everybody's making. You have free will. This person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, they do change. The future is not fixed. Tapping into this energy of the High Priestess, you know, the intuitive energy, trusting yourself, your gut instincts. With these decisions, which way do you want to go here? The Ten of Wands, by the way, I mean, that's 
Jupiter energy, and that's the planet of prosperity and expansion and movement and growth, things have stopped, have been really held back. It's like getting out of releasing, telling the truth. It's like getting somebody who doesn't want to lie anymore. Or again, there's like a changed energy here, but it's getting out of no contact, no communication in the, in the sense that the truth is coming. It's really more, I feel like, about the, this person who wants to come here and be honest. Look, balancing out the scales. There are patches on their knees here in our justice card. Like somebody's been through it, you know? The truth is definitely being revealed. And again, whether it's in person or apart, somebody here is eventually, I feel like, just kind of going for it. So if you can see each other, it's like showing up, you know, for something. If you know they're going to be at an event or they could be. But we could also be looking at, of course, contact by way of message. It's not super clear here today in that sense, but obviously it's here. And our fool is... Yeah, I mean, coming in here, hoping for, again, I feel like that the truth is really the, the biggest thing here that needs to come. But where where could it go from there? Because there is a little bit of finger crossing here of a new, another chance. Because when you're, when you're going into the fool, it means you finish the cycle in the world card, the last major arcana before you go into the fool. So you've paid off some karmic debts, you've learned the lessons, you've moved obstacles, you could say, like you've made it through them, you've figured out how to get through them, the chariot. So yeah, what is, what is around that completion energy in the world card that somebody is getting out of? Could it be both of you, of course? The world card bringing in Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and... Aquarius energy, divine number, timing. And I just want to mention, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, that that's some life-changing energy, life-changing decisions, and it could definitely be getting closer to completing pictures as well, like what needed to end, this person who needed to get out of the hangman into the death card. So whether they had habits or things that were really just not serving you, serving anybody, you know, or there are other people or things around their energy, people, places, things, whatever, that needed to be worked out. So it could be, again, it could be around a lot of things, you know, vices, other relationships, romantic or otherwise, work, distance. They're still in that energy, I feel. I don't feel like they're quite here yet, but this is where things are heading, the chariot, the fool. Justice, the High Priestess, where things go from there, that's up to you. Let's get into some Oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. Let's see if there's anything coming in that just, you know, more information that we need to hear, see, validation, clarity. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Angels and ancestors, please show us what else we need to see for Sagittarius. Aho. Whoa. Soulmate. Okay. So this truth here, this is how somebody is seeing you. What happened? You know, definitely something around the incomplete energy for sure of this connection and broken promises, the magician in reverse. You know, some something around next level here, but it's still, it's here, you know? And it could be, again, for some of you, that this has been a really long time. It sure feels that way, but time is just so specific to what is long for you. The soulmate energy, it's here, it's strong. And it's also how somebody is seeing you. Growth. The potential look here with the fool is right here on the sun. The king of pentacles, the ace of cups. There's flowers here too. It's almost like, obviously it's the flowers. 
growing, abundance blooming. Here with the sun, here with the fool. In fact, look how this person is looking up at them and having this on their mind, soulmate. Here with the king of wands, who knows what this is now. A lot of time has passed, I feel. But there's also, that's like an offer of energy where somebody, you know, if they hand you flowers for a date or hand you flowers to apologize kind of energy too. The fool looking at them. And again, it's with some impulsive energy. So I want to point out, look here with our Knight of Wands in reverse, that they're writing a snail. And it's here on the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in the upright. Potential major offers like marriage, moving in. What is it that somebody... Yeah, I mean, and again, also we could really be looking at not just movement toward you, but actual travel, but even somebody moving. You know, a snail has their whole house. But the delay in that, they're already so slow. So that's like a validation of that. And it could be around like the commitment issues we see here in the Seven of Cups. This person needing to make some, some major decisions that are getting made now could also be around you. I mean, this is in the partnership placement. And it's here with the strength card in reverse. Some fear around, yeah, some fear around that with change. But, you know, just an FYI, the timeline is going to be really specific to you. But snails can go underground for, I think it's around four. <laughs> I think it's around two years. And they go up and they kind of continue on their path. It's slow and it's in reverse. So it's an impulsive energy, you know, of showing up at an event or, or a phone call or just coming back into your life kind of energy. Ready now or something finally completing, again, something major, some major decisions. Whatever has been in here in this Seven of Cups energy to be ready for this. King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups <laughs> is what I'm pointing at. That's all that's coming through there. Balance, getting into balance. Um, yeah, <laughs> justice here, balancing the scales. This person getting into balance. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy, yin-yang energy. Infinity is connected to Libra, to justice, truth. Balance and renewal. Oh, yeah. So the potential that it's an unfulfilled potential kind of energy. This person getting out of the shadow, fear, the ego, coming here with the truth and the possibilities. Manifestation. Communication. Wow. Transformation. And guide. So our owl here, of course, full of wisdom. Guardian of the night energy, that nocturnal energy is pretty strong. Working its way through the labyrinth. A lot of information here on, on our, our <laughs> owl. And owl is a Scorpio, by the way. They can also hold back a lot of emotions. But look at this here. Gosh, the timing energy. So we have a 10 here that's deducing to a 1. Of course, new beginnings. And we also have, so new beginnings, the potential that is still here, obviously. We also have a 29, and that's coming to an 11. Again, a decision, new beginnings coming together. A 7 here, assessing the situation, reflecting. And it's coming here. Is that right? It's coming here. Is that a 68 or is that an 88? That's kind of interesting because it might be a 68, but I got to say it's coming through 88 for me because, well, should it be, I just want to say, of course, that's coming to a five. And it is around communication, which we see coming in here. Look, manifesting that, making it happen, by the way. This manifestation energy is like upwriting the magician card for me. This person who's getting focused, who's turning 
visions into reality, like taking the action. Look, there's a star here, of course, wish fulfillment, renewal. And the magician is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. Right here with communication here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so clear. But what I wanted to say too is this guide energy and also the 88 that's coming through for me, that is an, a new stage energy. You know, that's butterfly energy for me. And that is transformation. It's dark to light. It's coming out of shadow. There's definitely shadow work energy that's going on here as well. It's been going on probably for, probably not the entire time, but it's coming in now. But this transformational energy here, again, some this person getting out of their ego, to be honest, to come here with the truth. It's what you've also been wanting and it's what they're finally doing. But what other changes? You know, again, karmic debts paid, lessons learned, obstacles being moved, you know, challenges and obstacles, you could say, being overcome. It's one flower with two stems. It's at a train station, too. So timing energy, it's kind of like it need, needs to happen quickly before a train comes in, you know. So there's something definitely around timing here. Perhaps there's something they've seen or heard around you. This is really, yeah, very revealing and, and clear. And again, uprighting our magician energy, bringing in Gemini and Virgo, Mercury. Okay. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self, Sag. Thinking of you. That's definitely connecting with our Six of Cups as well that we came in. <laughs> I want to be honest. Yeah. The truth is coming. I feel so at home with you. Soulmate energy. Recognition is as well, you know, of, of what this is, you know, seeing you as a soulmate. This biggest wish energy here in manifestation. But this is also connecting with that Six of Cups energy. You know, just kind of like my person energy. Someone you can be yourself with. You don't have to pretend you're someone that you're not. I regret letting you go. Well, that's really strong in that Six of Cups energy. I've changed. Something's changed. Yes, I'm thinking of you. I'm sorry I ghosted you. You have no idea you do this to me. I am wising up. I'm trying to get over my ego. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is the hangman energy. It's like uprighting it, finally, and getting the heck out of there. A whole new perspective. I want to say, yeah, finally. You are my other half. It was my fault. the soulmate energy here. It's connecting with the fool and the soulmate card. It was my fault and I'm trying to get over my ego. I want to be honest. I want to bring in a little bit more and then we'll bring in some little ones. You are beautiful. It went here with growth. Fate? Yeah. Understanding? It's right here connecting with the star in our manifestation. Fate and destiny controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. This is somebody who has a lot to say. Okay, one just kind of sunk in. I was stupid to let you go. I regret letting you go. I think we are soulmates, yeah. 
So that energy has been really clear and strong. This has hit me hard. I am so sorry. I messed up so bad. I'm sorry I made you cry. Did you notice I unsent a message? So much regret. This is far from over. I never like having to cover cards, but <laughs> that's how it goes here, you know. Many come in and that's just how it is. I have a confession to make. I think we are soulmates. You are my other half is where I feel that belongs. It's going to go there. This is far from over. Yeah, we saw these already. Okay. Please forgive me. It was me, not you. I want to be honest. I just realized, too, that's right below justice. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep. That's a really strong energy with around, around the Nine of Swords and the Sun as well. Don't ever change. My world is dark without you. I messed up so bad. Yes, I know you love me. Are you responding? Oh, yeah, you are my other half. You are my other half. Are they validating that? Or is that telepathic energy between you? You deserve so much more. It's like I don't deserve you, but I want you energy. I'm hiding my true feelings, and you are never far from my mind. Okay. Let's bring in some love notes and close your reading today, Sag. It's a lot. <laughs> I think of you all the time. My heart belongs to you. High Priestess, I have a confession to make, Justice. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Went here with I'm so sorry. We were meant to meet, that's fate here. I made so many mistakes. I was stupid to let you go. We were destined to meet, fate and destiny. Controlling what you can. Letting go of what you can't. I'm sorry. It was me, not you. I'm trying to send you a message. I took you for granted. I messed up so bad. That's where that went. I miss you. I miss you, please forgive me. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I have so many regrets. Sagittarius, that is your reading today. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching, liking today's video, sharing, anything you feel inspired to share here at the Tarot Closet, subscribing to the channel if you haven't. I'm sending you love as always and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then.